You may have the day off for Juneteenth, and there's a lot of history behind the day. It's a federal holiday commemorating the end of slavery in our country. Many across our region gathering today to celebrate the holiday and black joy in our communities. We have team coverage for you tonight of some of those celebrations. NBC 5's John Hawks is in Brattleboro. We're going to check in with him in just a few minutes, but first we start with NBC 5 Sid Bule. She's live in studio with more on how a Vermont farm is working to preserve black-owned farmland and promote artists. Sid? Alice Bryan, today's Juneteenth celebration at the Clemens family farm, bringing people together with a taste of everything from making murals to enjoying Haitian food to live music and spoken word performances. Dozens gathered at the Clemens family farm in Charlotte, celebrating Juneteenth through art. Clemens family farm found a way for them, for, for the history not to be so scary and intimidating. They can learn it and then connect to it through different types of artistic mediums. Monday's celebration, bringing people together with a collection of artists and an artist market to relax in a space maintained to preserve black owned farmland. It is able to help us reconnect to our roots, even though we might not be specifically on African soil, but this soil connects. There was a time when the whole entire earth was a part of one major continent. And that's what we should be getting back to. Even if we're not close together, we should be able to be connected. And celebrating freedom through food, music, and painting. Just so much life and joy. Uh, it, was a, it just feels like a really beautiful way to celebrate this day of freedom and remembrance. Kara Hanron says using art to teach kids is just one way to break down tough topics like slavery, but it opens up the conversation to a more joyful place. So we talk about um, not just the hard stuff, but we center it around joy, resilience. How do people find ways to move forward even when it's so dark? Um, how do we find the strength to just keep going another day? Learn it, but also connect to it by creating. Many of the artists say the creative medium connects the community and it helps foster a better understanding of the history. Knowing where you're from in all cultures is important. Of course, for the African diaspora, knowing where you're from connects to a certain level of, uh, it's an introspection and it's the things that help us and give us the energy to do what we do on a daily basis. Like spreading joy through connection. There are black folks here. I think that's a common misconception that there's no black folks in Vermont. There are, we are here. It's about finding each other and finding that community. And that's what this farm has been for me. Now, if you want to visit the Clemens family farm, they ask that you make a reservation first, but all are welcome no matter your background. Sid Bule, NBC5 News.